Well, with King Charles' coronation just days away, talk in Australia has focused on how Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, an avowed Republican, will handle the ceremony. See, there's this part of the ceremony where the Archbishop of Canterbury will invite guests and indeed people in the Commonwealth all around the world to vocally pledge their allegiance to King Charles. The Sydney Morning Herald describes how the Archbishop will call upon all people of goodwill in the United Kingdom of Great Britain, Northern Ireland and other realms and territories, that would be us, to make their homage in heart and voice to their undoubted king, defender of all. So what does Anthony Albanese, a Republican, do at that moment? Here's specifically what he'll be asked to say. I swear that I will pay true allegiance to your majesty and to your heirs and successors according to the law. So help me God. Well, the leader of the Republican movement here in Australia, Craig Foster, tweeted today that it's completely unnecessary for Australia's Prime Minister to pledge allegiance at the coronation. Instead, the Prime Minister, he said, should politely decline and make a clear statement for our democratic principles of accountability, representation and the sovereignty of the Australian people. Well, to be honest, that's garbage. The Prime Minister of Australia needs to pledge allegiance to King Charles III because, according to the Constitution, King Charles III is the King of Australia. Remember that Constitution that Anthony Albanese likes to go on about all the time, the, the, the uh, birth certificate of our nation, the, the Constitution that's so important, we need to get everything right in it? Well, if he's the Prime Minister of the country, he should pledge allegiance to the Sovereign. The fact that Anthony Albanese easy would prefer a republic is his personal view but he's not there representing himself he's there representing the country and until the country votes to become a republic king charles is the sovereign it's only right liz that the prime minister pledges allegiance tell me i'm wrong no i get your point but the pledge is i pledge allegiance that's why he's not doing the pledge on behalf of almost 26 million australians the 26 million australians can say it if they choose or not. Same goes for Prime Minister. And I think if he has one iota... But he's iota, there as Prime Minister, not in his personal capacity, so he swears as Prime Minister. one iota of integrity, he cannot <laughs> swear allegiance <laughs> to a king that he is actively and publicly working to boot as head of state. He openly champions a republic, yes. has for many, many years. And one of the first things that he did when he became Prime Minister mm -hmm. was to make Matt Thistlethwaite the Assistant Minister for a Republic. Sure. And Matt has openly declared that should The Voice get up at referendum, the very next referendum we can chisel into our diaries is the one for a That's referendum. That's great, but we've not had that vote. The We're not a republic. We're a constitutional monarchy. He has Swear it. allegiance to the second. king. The Prime Minister knows that. That, but the king hasn't even been invited by this prime minister to the country, despite him being in power for now almost a year. Is it any wonder that King Charles is now wondering if he's even welcome here, Carolyn? Well, look, we do have a minister for a republic. That was one of the first things he did. The actual first things he he did. The first thing he did was be sworn in. And when you're sworn yes. in, you pledge allegiance. And Chris Kenny talked about that earlier today. This is not like it's his first trip around the mountain, our pollies, all of our pollies, state and federal, are sworn in. But they have they to get... do that to take well, of office. Course they so do. obviously well, no, they're they going to do, do a Lydia Thorpe. Great. They're going to do a Lydia Thorpe, say, yes. I don't believe yes. in this at all, but I'll say it because I want the paycheck and the power. Correct. Exactly. And no one has ever accused Anthony Albanese of being too authentic. So, look, this is just <laughs> the next step in the, the, the consistency that we've come to love and, love and know from our current Prime Zero Prime integrity. Zero. Come on, back let's, it up, buddy.